Hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm going to do kind of a review of sorts. I was researching online after I watched a video from my friend over at Tom's Test Kitchen. He did a video on chia seeds. And so I started researching how healthy they are and then I decided, well, I'm going to go online and order some. And then today I went to Whole Foods and bought a this is about um, a pound and a third, actually, of chia seeds. These are organic, and um, it seemed like most of them are. Um, they're non-GMO. They're all, I mean, it's all good. The health benefits are beyond belief. Um, I can't even, t it's awesome. They have four times the calcium. They have... The omega threes we need for the head uh, for the healthy heart. It's the most naturally um, derived from plants. Uh, it's got more than salmon. So uh, I know we have a hard time eating uh, fish once or twice a week because of the expense, and it's hard to find wild caught. And we're not on a you know we're not in a coastal city, or so it's kind of tough sometimes. But that being said. I'm going to show you what happens when you, um, oh, and there are tons of fiber. Uh, it's the health benefits. It will lower your um, uh, risk of heart attack because of the omega-3. And also your um, blood pressure. Uh, so if, you're if you've got hypertension or something like that. Um, it helps lower that. In fact, if you're prone to low blood pressure, you would want to be careful. The other thing you want to be careful of is if you eat these, I mean, they, they have make, they remind me of a poppy seed, but they don't have any flavor. So if you eat them dry, they are hydrophilic. So they're going to attract water, which would mean that you could dehydrate. And you don't want to do that. It also slows down the digestion, which, um, uh, a slower digestion could help you lose weight. So I'm going to put, I've got hot water in this kettle. I'm going to add some water to two tablespoons is all I did. Two tablespoons of chia seeds. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to stress, this is the perfect um, food storage item. They don't go rancid. They keep for years and years and years and um, they're a great source of protein, um, more than any of the other grains that I could find. It also is high in fiber. Um, it's going to keep you full longer. So uh, there's tons of benefits. You could put this in smoothies. You can see this is already starting to kind of gel up. Now, if you soak this in cold water, it's not going to happen like this. It, it seems to like to gel up in warm water. So, um, I personally would like to have it on my oatmeal in the morning, keep me full longer and more satisfied, um, and add some extra fiber in there. So, um, that's what I'll be doing with it. And then um, I can have it on my yogurt, I can have it any way you like, but as you can see, just in a short period of time, it's starting to gel up and thicken. So you can see how much space they are going to take up when they hydrate. They're going to be a lot bigger. Wow, that's awesome. In fact, I could probably fill that bowl and see what happens, but um, let me bring you in for close up so you can see. what they look like to you. So they're just a really tiny little seed. Um, just like poppy seeds. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Yeah, that might be too blurry. Let's see if I can get you out here where you can see See how tiny? They really are tiny. But 
so good for you. Full of fiber, calcium. I mean, if you are lactose intolerant um, or in a situation where we didn't have the access to dairy products to get our calcium, this is a great source of calcium. Just absolutely fabulous. So I hope this inspires you to check out, uh, do a little research. Check out um, the health benefits of chia seeds and what they can do for you. And um, maybe I'm, I'm hoping that it'll keep me full longer because I, at my uh, teaching job, I do not, you know, I don't get to just run and go have a snack. And so sometimes right before my break, I'm pretty hungry, so... Um, if it can keep me full from morning till lunchtime, that'd be fabulous. Okay, so check out Chia Seeds. I got three pounds ordered. Um, if you order, most of the websites that I went to uh, offered a free shipping if you um, order $30 or more. So anyway, or go to your Whole Foods in your area and see about getting some there. And... As always, I hope it inspires you. I hope that if you're a new subscriber, you hit that subscribe button. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, go ahead and share it on your Facebook page because everybody loves new information and um, that's what this social networking is all about. So I, uh, I plan to store a lot of these. The more you buy, too, the cheaper the price per pound gets. So um, you can also purchase Chia Flour which is gluten free. You can use um, you can use this in baking, any kind of cooking application. You can thicken soups and sauces with these, as you see. Um, so I'm gonna do some recipes with them. I just think that's awesome, and I'll do a little taste test right now to see. I'll give you. This has got nothing but water in there, and so you guys can at least I can try to tell you what they taste like or how it feels texture wise mm. little crunchy like um, poppy seeds and really the gel has they don't have any flavor they honestly there's no flavor so they will adapt to whatever you're gonna put it in I um, yeah, they don't taste like anything. So they'll go great in oatmeal with some cinnamon and brown sugar or whatever you like. Um, I'm going to actually do a chia seed granola. So um, that video will be coming up. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. And uh, stay tuned. i got lots of good ones coming up. All right. God bless.